Good morning students. Welcome to your chemistry class. Let us further discuss the chapter organic chemistry and in that we are going to discuss alkynes. The objective of the chapter are introduction to alkynes, sources of alkynes, isomerism in alkynes and in detailed study we are going to study ethyne and in that we will be doing its structure, laboratory preparation, properties of ethyne and uses of ethyne. Now, first of all, we should know what are alkynes. So, alkynes are unsaturated hydrocarbons containing carbon-carbon triple bond in their molecules. Okay. So, we need to remember that they have triple bond in their molecules. The general formula of alkynes is Cn H2n minus 2 where you now already know that n is number of carbon atoms present in the compound. So, supposing if the carbon number is 2 that means it will be having CH triple bond CH as the structure and the name will be ethyne because there is a triple bond. So, therefore, ion word came and since there are two carbons, so the root word will be ith. Similarly, for three carbons, it will be propyne, for four carbons, it will be butyne and for five carbons, it will be pentyne and so on. The next thing that we should know is that how alkynes are obtained. So, the sources of alkynes, the first one is natural gas, second is petroleum and the third one is cracking of alkanes. These we have already discussed in detail. Cracking of alkanes means breakdown of alkanes in the absence of air. Natural gas is a gas obtained underground in the earth crust. And similarly, it's having various hydrocarbons and fractional distillation of those hydrocarbons will give rise to alkynes. The next topic that we are going to do is isomerism in alkynes. And for this, we are going to take the example of butyne having molecular formula C4H6. First of all, we have to draw four carbons and to one of the carbon, we have to draw the triple bond. Okay, if you draw the triple bond on this side, then it comes out to be at the first position. If you start drawing it from the another side, that is the right hand side, then also you will start the numbering from that side and it will come to the first position. Now, what we can do here is we can shift the triple bond here. So, when the triple bond is being shifted to the second carbon, now the position changes. The name no more remains the same. So, what are the names of the compound? In first case, there are four carbons and there is a presence of triple bond at the first position. So, the name comes out to be but one ion. And in the second case, the triple bond shifts to the second position. So, the name comes out to be but to ion. Now, here the position of the functional group changes. So, they are also known as position isomerism. Okay. So, when the position of any functional group changes, then you call it as a position isomer. The next topic that we are going to discuss is structure of ethyne. Now, it means two carbons and there is a triple bond between those carbons. And since we know that the valency of carbon is 4, three valencies of carbon is being satisfied with the help of another carbon and one of the valency is being satisfied with hydrogen. The structure that ethyne has is a linear structure and the angle between these compound is 180 degree. So, we have to remember that the angle is 180 degree and it is a linear structure. Now, let's start with the laboratory preparation of ethyne. For preparing ethyne, we have to use calcium carbide that is CaC2. We need to dissolve this in water and we'll be getting calcium hydroxide and C2H2 that is ethyne gas. Now, how it has been collected? It is collected by downward displacement of water because it is slightly soluble in water and it is lighter than air. We have to remember this. Next reaction that we are going to study is dehydrohalogenation reaction that means removal of hydrogen as well as halogen from a reactant for this we have to use 1 comma 2 dibromoethane so at the first and the second position bromine has to be there and this we are going to react with potassium hydroxide which is dissolved in an alcohol that is alcoholic potassium hydroxide we are going to use 
and since there are two bromine present in the reactant k should also be two so it will form two molecules of kbr that is potassium bromide and along with the liberation of water so from one of the carbons one hydrogen and that will combine with oh to form one molecule of water and in the second case also same way water molecule will be formed and what is left behind is acetylene acetylene means ethyne acetylene is the common name of ethyne okay so with the help of this we can prepare ethyne gas the next that we should know is physical properties of alkynes. It will be mostly same as alkenes and alkene because they are also non-polar and alkynes is also non-polar compound. So therefore it will be insoluble in water. It will be soluble in non-polar solvents that is organic solvents. They are less dense than water. Alkynes have low melting and boiling points. Melting and boiling points increases as the number of carbons increases. So as the molecular mass will increase, the melting and boiling point will also increase. The next topic that we should know is chemical properties of alkynes. And as we already know that there is a triple bond, so they will undergo addition reaction. Okay. Now the first reaction that we are going to study is the combustion reaction that will be in the presence of oxygen gas. So when C2H2 is burned in presence of oxygen, it will Will give rise to CO2 and water. This is a typical reaction that all hydrocarbons follow. Now students, let us discuss the next reaction that is addition of hydrogen also known as hydrogenation reaction. Now in this hydrogen molecule add itself across the triple bond and this happens in the presence of the catalyst platinum. We can also use nickel or palladium in this case. Now when the hydrogen is added, the triple bond gets converted into double bond. Now there are two carbons, so therefore it is also known as ethylene and the IUPAC name is ethene. Another molecule of hydrogen add itself across the double bond and converted into a single bond known as ethene. So this particular reaction can be used for the conversion of ethyne to ethene and also ethyne to ethane. The next reaction that we have to study is halogenation that is addition of halogens. Halogens like chlorine, bromine etc. Now when we look at the reaction chlorine gets added up across the triple bond and first case it gets converted into double bond and then in the second step chlorine again attacks the double bond and converts itself to a single bond. Now since chlorine has been added at the four positions at the two carbons so therefore the name comes out to be 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 tetrachloroethane okay and in the similar manner bromine will also react two molecules of bromine will add up across the triple bond and convert itself into single bond and the name comes out to be 1 comma 1 comma 2 comma 2 tetrabromoethane so both the reactions go in a similar manner with the help of a non-polar covalent compound that is carbon tetrachloride the next type of reaction that we are going to study is addition of HCl across the triple bond. Now in the first case since the ethyne that we are using here is a symmetrical one, both sides same atoms are present. So one side hydrogen will be added up and the other side chlorine will be added and the triple bond gets converted into double bond. But now the ethene that we have got is no more symmetrical. One side there are two hydrogens, other side there is one chlorine. So in this case, when the another molecule of HCl gets added up, we need to follow one rule that is Markovnikov's addition. In this, the negative part of the reagent adds up to that double bonded carbon where less number of hydrogens are present. Okay, so here when HCl, when we have a look, chlorine is electronegative, it's having a negative charge, so it will be added up across the double bond to that side of the double bonded carbon where no hydrogen or less number of hydrogens are present. So therefore, we get the compound CH3CCl2. That means on one carbon only two chlorines get attached. So the name comes out to be 1,1 dichloroethane.
Next topic that we need to study is uses of ethine. Ethine is been used for ripening of fruits. Second is that it is used for producing oxyacetylene flame which is used in cutting and welding of metals. Since oxyacetylene flame produces a very high temperature, so it cuts the metal very easily. The third one is it is used in manufacture of synthetic products like polymers, artificial rubber and oxalic acid. Formation of polymers is very important because three molecules of ethine react together in presence of iron tube and form benzene which is an important aromatic compound. So this was all for today's students. Thank you so much.